getting ready to leave on our way to uh, Beaver, Utah today. Shorter drive today. We're not going to go as far. I think it's like only 250 miles. So that's going to be a little easier of a day. And then we'll be there for two days. And then after that, Vegas for two weeks. So, hey, we got that. For today? Huh? Yep, almost there. Okay, so you're there. <laughs> They're ready to go. We're ready to go. And we're off. Got to swing wide. There was a tree in the way. Here we go. First trailer out. Swing wide, Dean. There you go. You got it. Well, I guess I added three washers to my ball head, which tilted it back a little bit, and put, it puts a little bit more weight on the front tires of the truck. So that seemed like it, it's helped out a lot as far as trucks passing and pushing it forward. It seems to be steering and doing really bad, better now, so that's good. past Salt Lake City. It was like, I don't know, like a hundred miles of traffic from leaving Brigham to get past that. I mean, it was, it was a good thing we left early because I'm serious, it was like a hundred miles of traffic. But hey, we're through that now and you can see it's very, very light traffic here. Some little town or something over there. It's like a little oasis. We're, I don't know, we'll probably get close to our halfway point for today now. It's going good so far. Still still chilly out. We're waiting for that warm weather to hit. On our travel to uh, Arizona, uh, we go about 300 miles and then stop, camp for two days, and then take off about 9 o'clock travel about another another 300 miles one thing though is no rest stops in Utah <laughs> so we go about 150 miles stop and fill up with gas take a potty break do whatever and then next stop will be where we're going to camp so yeah, I don't know what kind of state this is that they have all these long freeways without no rest stops. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what their problem is. But <laughs> uh, save money, they don't have to maintain it or not. Anyway, another couple hours we'll be at our campsite. Yeah. I figure we'll eat lunch there today. We'll be there early. It's yeah. going to be an early day. So we deserve an early day. We're getting closer to Vegas though. One more stop and then we're on our way to Vegas yeah. for two weeks. Yeah. Came over a pretty steep pass just now. But it's pretty up over here on the other side. See those hills off to the distance. Going down to a two lane highway now from a three lane. drive set up camp in our new spot we got side by side again nice big spots no uh no grass but I think this is the way it's gonna be now because I know our I know our spot in Arizona doesn't have any grass either but it's okay hey you want the warm weather and yeah it, it feels like it's in 70s by now We've been freezing up until this point. It 
is Mike spitting as usual. He's got his coat off. Tree kind of in the way for our back awning, but you know, it's all good. What do you guys think of your spot? Yeah, the 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 patio is nice, right? You're not just on the not just on the rocks. We we can't open up our TV. We can't slide it out. The trees the trees in the way. Yeah, we wanted to open it up and watch the game outside, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, not going to be able to. Well, here we are at the Beaver KOA in Beaver, Utah. Not a bad park. <clears throat> we got to be next to Dean and Nancy. There's our campsite. So, we'll be here for two days and then head to Las Vegas for two weeks. Now, this campsite's got brick pads for their picnic table. And cable and Wi-Fi. We got Wi-Fi and cable TV and mountains all around, beautiful sky and warm temperatures. Mike's washing the car, the truck. He can't handle it being all dirty. And drive around and find a truck stop. We're still in Beaver. Um, I'm getting tired of being in Utah. I'm ready to hit the road again and let's get to Vegas. That seems like we've been here long enough in Utah. It's been kind of a long drive through this state. Yep. We're sitting in here while he washes us. To your hands, Mike. Well, when I was washing the truck, I guess the the pink soap dyed my hands pink. How <laughs> 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 hey, are you doing? <laughs> so I got pink hands for a while until it wears off. <laughs> okay, <You're pretty> good. <laughs> truck was dirty. I had to get it get it clean. Yeah, and you wash the windows of the trailer. That's the best yep. you can do for that. Wash the windows and trailer. Until I can wash the trailer, and it needs it. What do you do if you can't wash the trailer? I don't know. Let it get dirty, I guess, till I can. <laughs> really? Okay. What are you guys doing? Hanging out. What's it like today? Oh, the weather. Watching you kill bees. I killed it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of screaming, Arthur, but it. Lots of screaming, but it died. With her special bee killer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where did you guys get that? At the camping store, at the RV store. Huh. That camping well fuzzy. No, this is what we're talking about. See this? See that right there? It has a little button on it. It lights their butts up. See that? Turns turns red. Oh. It's got a battery in it, and when you kill a bee, you can hear it zap, zap. It, you can hear it. You can hear it dying. And I don't usually kill anything, but I can kill bees. Anyhow, so we're just chilling out today because. We're going to leave tomorrow for the our trip to Vegas. It's nice and warm here today. So we're having a good time. 